uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a special Gunken Maki Sushi. Well, it's actually not going to be Maki because it won't involve Nori, but uh, it's Gunken style sushi wherein you have a bowl of rice like this and then you have your topping on top and you wrap it with normally nori but today I'm gonna to wrap it with something special something innovative something new something you won't find in a lot of sushi restaurants so without getting into it any further let's get straight into cooking let's go all right we're gonna start off by making some tomato water for that I'm gonna take one kilo of tomatoes and slice them in half and then after that, I'm gonna slice them into quarters. Now this is just so that they fit into the blender easily and don't get stuck. Slide these into your blender, just like this. And then you're gonna to wanna to add 1% of salt. That's one kilo of tomatoes, so that's 10 grams of salt. Just sprinkle that on top like this. Place your lid on, and then you're gonna to want to blend this into a fine liquid. So just put your blender to maximum and keep blending until it's a homogeneous liquid. Okay, now you're gonna to need to strain this. So for that, I'm gonna take a beaker and I'm gonna add a little sieve on top. Now my sieve is a little handle heavy, so I'm just gonna place a spoon on this side to balance it out. I know, very, very strange thing to have to do. Anyway, add a cheese cloth on it and then just place your tomato mix into it, just like that. Now it's gonna need at least four hours to strain the liquid through. So I recommend you just leave this in a fridge and come back to it the next day and have lots of usable tomato water. Now I'm gonna create the mold here. I'm just gonna take a tray and line it with some cling film. This will make sure that the gel comes off easily later. And put this to one side. Now you're going to want to make the tomato gel water. So take the tomato water and measure out 200 milliliters of it. Then you're going to want to add agar agar, which is a Japanese gelling agent uh, made from seaweed. You're going to measure out 1.2 grams of that. Now this is a little bit of a brittle gel once it's gelled. So we're going to add locust bean gum, 0.7 grams, which is a bit more flexible and this will give that flexibility. Now you're gonna to need to blend these ingredients in. You cannot whisk it in because it really needs to be sheared into the liquid to properly work. So use a blender. Once you've done that, place them into a pot and you're gonna to want to bring it to the boil. I recommend you whisk it around a little bit to make sure the liquid is evenly heated. So once it comes to the boil, you can see it's just about coming to the boil now. You're gonna to wanna to take it off and then you're gonna to wanna to pour it into your mold you made earlier. Now you're gonna want very, very thin strips of this stuff, so it can't be more than three to five millimeters thick. Now leave it in the fridge for at least two hours and do not shake it, otherwise it will become weaker. So this has been in the fridge for six hours, and as you can see, it's fully set. Yes, fully set. And I'm just gonna cut it into strips. Now the first strip is just to get the edge off, and then I'm going to cut another strip that's 2.5 centimeters wide, one inch wide, and this is the one we're gonna use. So as you can see here, we've got a beautiful, simple little tomato gel strip. Okay, now moving on, you're gonna take a very small piece of butterfish, this is about 10 grams, and you're gonna to want to slice this into thin sashimi slices. Just keep going until you've sliced the entire piece of butterfish. And now, even though it's very, very small amount, you're gonna to want to slice this again into half because you need a very small slice for this. Now, moving on, you're gonna need some shumeji mushrooms. You're just gonna take this little piece of shumeji mushrooms and cut it in half because it's only that much. Place these into a steamer and you're gonna to wanna to cook it for about 10 minutes. Now, you wanna have these warm, so make sure you cook them at the end. Okay, moving on, you're gonna take some sushi rice, uh, just dip your hands in some water and vinegar and boil out about 10, 15 grams of sushi rice. If you need a recipe for sushi rice, check out the link in the top right corner or in the description below for my recipe. Now, once you've formed the bowl, place it on your cutting board and then wrap it around with your tomato gel you made before. Now, be very careful because this is very delicate and you could easily break it. So add a little bit of wasabi now and then you want to take your shimeji mushrooms from the steamer and you're gonna to wanna to cut them. Now be careful, because they're really hot and slippery. But just cut them into very small bits and then just place them one by one with some chopsticks. And like I said, they, they slide around everywhere, so be careful. Now place your butterfish and a little dab of soy sauce. And there we go. 
done. Delicious, innovative sushi. So there we go. Now you know how to make this delicious sushi roll. If you want to see some more cool ideas on making sushi, then check out my sushi ideas playlist. I'll put it up right there right now. And if you want to check out another cool idea for sushi, here's one random one. Or if you want to see some more awesome sushi recipes, then check out my website.